In this video, we will explain how the discrete I.O. is addressed in the XGB U-Type PLC. In the LSIS, XGB PLCs, all discrete inputs and outputs are designated with the letter P. This illustration depicts the discrete I.O. terminals on the U-Type PLC. The green screw terminals are removable for ease of wiring. XGB PLC discrete inputs begin at address P00. The 16 inputs are addressed P00 through P0F as shown in the illustration. The bit addressing is in hexadecimal format. The U-Type PLC discrete outputs begin at P20. The 16 outputs shown are addressed P20 through P2F. I.O. addressing is printed on the front of the PLC beside the I.O. terminals. This chart shows the discrete I.O. address range for the U-Type PLC. The part numbers are formatted to denote the total discrete I.O. The PLC's number of discrete inputs are shown in this column. The inputs start at P00. The address range of the 16 discrete inputs is shown in this column. The PLC's number of outputs are shown in this column. The U-Type PLC's discrete outputs start at P20 and are ranged as shown. To illustrate the XGB U-Type discrete I.O. addressing, we will build a simple ladder rung. We will add a normally open element and assign it to P00, the first discrete input. We will place a coil in the ladder and assign it to the first discrete output, P20. XG5000 software is placed in the monitoring mode. As we energize the first input, the power flow through P00 and P20 occurs. Step-by-step -step programming and downloading with XG5000 is covered in another video. This concludes the discrete I.O. addressing structure for the LS XGB U-Type PLC. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.